can you take us back to the moment when you learned you were going in the game? I mean, that was one of those things that I made contact with Taylor, like eye contact, and I could tell that he wasn't feeling at 100%. But it was one of those things I just, all week it's prepare like you're the starter. So stepping in, it was just something that I had to do. There was no other option. I mean, the moments that you put yourself in tonight, fourth and two, you scramble, you pick it up. The, the throw you hit to Steph Cobbs, obviously, on was that third and long two, I can't even remember. But like, what, what was it like to be in those moments? Obviously, I mean, I'm definitely, it was definitely a nerve wracking thing with stepping in, but all the, all week we built trust with each other. I mean, this unit especially is full of love. It's always one of those things that's like, Offensive line stepped up on that third long to Static. Static made a big play. Obviously broke a tackle. It's one of those things that it just relying on those other guys to step up and make big plays when when it needs to happen. Just talking to DJ. He's a six-year linebacker, and we kind of asked him about your effort, especially on the fourth and two, and he was like moved to tears. But what have you done to obviously earn the trust of you know a guy like DJ Shram? I mean, <laughs> it's one of those things like. I love DJ, and it was from the very first day that I stepped in this building. As the leader he is, he stepped up and gave his hug, and like I just said, it's not just a unit. It's almost this whole team that's completely full of love. And I mean, he said it best, like him getting teared shows like that he loves this program, and obviously it's handed down. Like I love this program, and I know how to do anything possible to do, like go out and try my best to win this game. You know, two games, you guys got 35 points on offense. Uh, you know, we obviously haven't seen the offense you guys expected to have here. I know you're playing some good defenses and stuff, but what, what have you seen through through two games offensively? I mean, offensively, it's just I think we, we're doing a great job, and we're missing, like, those little bit of big plays, but there's not much to say about that. It's just we got to be more consistent in certain things, and we'll get there. It's, I mean, it's something that we obviously have done and we will do to moving forward. I mentioned the nerves and, you know, kind of, after every play where it seemed like those nerves were showing, you, it almost was like you took a breath and, you know, you kind of came back the next play and just made a, a big one. I think, like, there was one where you tripped over, kind of tripped on your feet, and then next play came back and made that fourth down. You know, just what were you telling yourself uh, in those moments, and how were you calming yourself down? Right. I mean, like you just said, it's a deep breath. It's one of those things that's like a reset after every play. Here, it's just one of those things that's like play by play is what has to happen, whether it's a failure of a player or a big play, it's just the next play mentality. I guess he was playing a step there and start to finish when you saw like he hit that edge and he was clearly gone, but just take us through your vision of it. I mean, it was third and long, I think, right? And it was just one of those things that's like, we have to convert. Obviously, we were playing four down there, but we had to convert. And it was the perfect play call, perfect look, and obviously it was just... I, Steph and I actually, we ran that play earlier in the week, and it was one of those things that was just like... I mean, it's practiced a game and is the biggest play of the game at that point. So, a couple plays before that, it's it's fourth and two. Looks like the play doesn't go how you want it. All of a sudden, you're running out. Can you take us from there, your perspective of what happened? I mean, fourth and two is probably around three minutes left, something like that. The obviously had to convert. It's one of those things. It's like, like competitive wise, it's I had to be there. And first read wasn't open. Second read wasn't there. Was, I had to do something with it. So. When you put your shoulder down like that, I mean, that's going to be on the Maddox Madsen highlight reel forever. Um, is that just kind of the dude you are, that competitive, that, you know, willing to put your body on the line? Yeah, I mean, I think it starts everywhere around here. It's competitive nature, so building each other, yeah, I would say competitive. You seem like you've been confident and capable since you, you arrived here, but, like, how much did you have to have this moment to kind of prove it to yourself that, that, you, could, that you could do it at this level in that moment? Uh, in front of a packed house, and, and how much will this help you grow from here on out? Yeah, I think it's this is obviously a big growing point. I mean, the one thing that I've learned from this the most is just relying on others, and I think I kind of inherited that when I first got in here. It was like, rely on the guys behind you. Obviously, <laughs> this place is full of playmakers, so it's one of those things that's just relying on those guys with the full ability of trust. You guys haven't been 0-2 around here in a long time. I mean, what, 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 how do you just feel, I guess, about the, the, the rest of the season and where you guys are at? I mean, our goal is still in front of us. We still have the Mountain West Championship. We've played two good football teams the last two weeks, like two really good football teams. So I don't think anyone in this building should worry. I think we have a good shot of doing what we still need to do, and we will do it. And you made your college football debut last week. What's kind of the, the biggest thing you've learned in the last two weeks? <sighs> I mean, I think it's more just 
like kind of what I just said, it's relying on other people. Like, <laughs> there's not much that you can do as a solo person. I mean, relying on other people at all times is what's got to happen. That first drive, I mean, you ran it a couple times or whatever, but you go on the sideline, I'm not sure if you, you know, you know you're going to go play the rest of the game or anything, but you know, when you do learn that, hey, I might have to go a couple drives here, did you, is there a little more ease knowing that, you know, hey, I can take control a little bit? Yeah, obviously, it was just one of those things that's like, I mean, deep breath, play by play. I mean, I didn't know if I was going back in, but it was one of those things like, if I'm going back in, I had to make a play, so.